Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, found a story that I thought you guys would find interesting, um, for my true crime friends out there. Uh, I'm gonna name this one The Ice Cream Shop Killer, okay? And I'm going to redo compiled information that I've gathered over the last few days. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, here we go. An Austrian female fatale known as the Ice Cream Killer will have plenty of new men to choose from at her new lockdown. Esbantelez Carzana, 38 years old, will be transferred to an all-male prison because she is too dangerous to be locked up at a woman's facility but authorities might be playing right into her hands. The Maniacal Murders has a history of luring men into her web and then killing and slicing up their bodies with a chainsaw. In 2012, she was sentenced to life behind bars for dismemberment, dismemberment murders of her husband and one-time lover on separate occasions. She shot them both in the head, carved up their bodies, stored their parts in a freezer, and buried their remains under the concrete floor of her sweet shop. She then hung air fresheners to hide the smell of the rotting corpses. After her convi conviction, Carzana was incarcerated at a woman's prison in Schwarzwitzer, Lower Austria but will now be moved to a special all-male penitentiary in Aston, Upper Austria. Corzana will be the first female prisoner to be housed at a state-of-the-art facility, which currently holds 91 men. 13 additional female inmates will be transferred there in the near future. The staff consists of 45 nurses, 18 therapists, 4 doctors, and 8 prison guards. The mayor said 8 prison guards for 91 people. Okay. Prisoners could cook meals together in their single and double cells and free roam around the grounds. They can also kick back and watch TV in their lounge. Oh, how nice. In 2008, Carzana walked up behind her ex-husband, Hogan Holes, as he worked at his computer, pressed a 22 caliber Beretta against the back of his head and squeezed the trigger. She confessed that she was furious when Halls wouldn't leave their Vienna home after their divorce. She also called him violent and lazy. The two had originally met when she was au pair in Germany before she became the proprietor of an ice cream shop in Vienna. Two years later, Krasana whacked her ice cream salesman boyfriend, Manfred Hinterberger in a similar fashion. She pumped several bullets into the back of his head when she went to confront him about an alleged affair he was having, but he was passed out drunk. After disposing of his corpse, she got a manicure to repair her damaged nails. In June of 2011, plumbers stumbled upon the remains of both victims as they were doing work in the cellar of Carvana's ice cream shop. Now, if you have two corpses downstairs, what kind of mental state are you in that you would allow plumbers to go down there? To die? I'm not even going to go there. But anyway. Uh, Carzana went on the lamb to Italy but was captured by authorities several days later. She was two months pregnant by a third man at the time of her arrest and has since gotten married to him while in prison. Oh, dear God. She has written a memoir titled My Two Lives, The True Story of the Ice Lady. We're going to look into that, too, because that's probably, that's probably interesting. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Carzana's full name is Golden Shaggy Espaliza Carzana Zabala. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it's a bit much for me, and I obviously don't speak Austrian. Is one of the most interesting female killers known to date. 
Zabala was a beautiful young woman who owned an ice cream parlor in Austria, but despite her pleasant exterior, she was a cold, calculated killer who took the life of two men. The gruesome details of her crime and her life are bone-chilling. Karzana was a woman driven by one goal in life, to become a mother, and when the men in her life couldn't deliver, she killed them. She might have gotten away with it, too, if workers inspecting her ice cream shop hadn't been allowed to go down in her basement. Karzana hid two dismembered bodies excuse me, in freezers and tubs frozen in concrete and then covered it in air fresheners in the basement of her ice cream store. Um, let's see. We went through that already. Um, after dismembering her, ex, uh, dismembering her ex-husband and boyfriend, she decided it was a good idea to stash their bodies in the basement of her ice cream shop. Uh, which I don't get why she thought that was a good idea. Um, and as stated before, she, uh, went to Italy, 300 miles from her shop in Vienna. They had to travel across the Alps to get there. She was found living with a street musician and then was extradited back to Austria to stand trial. Uh, let's see... Do, 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 do. Like we said, she married her third husband. She's on her way to a men's prison. Uh, Karsana believed her main goal in life was to have children according to her prison memoir, My Two Lives, The True Story of the Ice Lady, which we're going to get into after we go through this. Um, Despite everything she had going for her, she only wanted kids, not a career. When her ex-husband stopped having sex with her shortly after the marriage, she wondered, how was I going to get pregnant? This led to their divorce and later his murder. Apparently, Austria, convicted murderers, can write and publish their memoirs while in prison. Karzana's book, co-written with a journalist named Martina... Preween, the book titled, like I said, again, My Two Lives, The True Story of the Ice Lady, begins when she discovers she's pregnant. Everything else unfolds in a series of flashbacks. She said the money from the book is going to... Hold on. Where the hell is this thing? She said the money from the book is going to the victim's family. I'm assuming the victims that she killed. By all accounts, Karzana was a very smart, was very smart and had a good childhood. She moved from her home country of Mexico to Spain when she was young and then graduated from school with honors. After fin finishing college, she moved to Germany where she mastered the language in a mere three months. However, that didn't stop her from killing her ex-husband and her boyfriend and then disposing of their bodies. Oh, good Lord. I don't know what, what being an honor, an honor student uh, makes you less prone to murder or what i don't get that i guess they think that that's you know that makes you less prone which makes no sense whatsoever okay let's look up if the memoirs have been put out yet let's see I killed two men whom once I loved there is no way of glossing this over or I robbed two mothers of their sons um Carzano is serving a life sentence, like we said. Uh, I believe I had to serve men no matter how they behave towards me. 
Um, she declined all proceeds from the sale of the book for the sake of the victim's uh, relatives. Uh, Curzano also wrote that she found it impossible to break off her relationship with her one-time boyfriend, Manfred Hinterberger, 48, who was allegedly having an affair that eventually drove her to violence in 2010. I can't say no. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get free of him, she said. Carzana shot Hindenburger in the back of the head, sliced him up with a chainsaw, encasing his body, like I said, in cement in her ice cream shop, the same way she did her husband. Uh, she was sentenced to a life term in, in a woman's insane asylum, but just this week, plans were made to transfer her to an all-male psychiatric facility because authorities believe she's too dangerous. Several media outlets reported it was immediately clear how authorities came to this decision but during her trial psychiatrist Aldenhead Kastner testified that there was a higher than average chance Carzana would kill again okay so now since she has a past okay of killing men you're gonna put her in a all-male facility where they can walk around and interact with each other. I'm sorry, but that to me sounds like a true combination for disaster. But I mean, how much more can she get? She already has life in prison. So I mean, maybe when she cooks meals with these other people... Yeah, now she's gonna uh, poison them or something. Who knows? I mean, that's just a recipe for disaster as far as I'm concerned. I don't get why they would think that that was a good idea for her. Um, geez, Louise. You know, sometimes you gotta wonder, like, exactly what these uh prosecutors and judges and therapists are actually doing with their time because that's definitely not something i think uh is a good idea just common sense wise uh okay let's see blah 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 i can't i can't with this whole thing unbelievable So now she'll be around 91 men, you know. That's going to be great. And how does this, uh, a Mexican end up, how does a Mexican person end up in Austria to begin with? Like, crazy. I mean, I can understand Spain, but Austria. Uh, I'm just looking to see if there's anything else here oh here it says she decapitated and chopped up both their bodies okay she cemented their heads and body parts into flower pots and plastic buckets which she then hid in the cellar of her ice cream parlor which we know already so that was a little bit more in depth um uh, let's see. Um, so far, there has been no response from the victims' families. I mean, what the hell are you going to say to that? Like, thank you for the money after you killed my son. Oh, good Lord. The book summary says, describes her relationship with her victims as well as her marriage in prison to the father of her child. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so her psychiatrist is even saying that they believe that she's um, very likely to kill again. So, I mean, putting her next to 91 men, I guess, is uh, something they're okay with. 
You know what I mean? I don't know. I can't, I can't deal with the stupidity of that whole thing. It's just not working for me. Oh, all right, guys. I, I thought when I was reading this, I was just like, what? I had to, I had to read it a couple of times because it was just one of those things that sounds like it's too bizarre to be true, but I mean, it's actually true. And I had to share it with you guys because I knew that, you know, you guys in the true crime community find this stuff intriguing because it just, you know. And you can't explain, when you can't understand something and, and it's just bizarre, it's a lot, of, it's just interesting to discuss. I'm curious to see what you guys think um, about this woman and just about the whole situation in itself. Uh, I'll definitely look forward to your um, input on this and what you think about the case and where she's going at this point. Um, hope you guys found this interesting and enjoyed it somewhat. Thank you guys for supporting my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, found a story that I thought you guys would find interesting um, for my true crime friends out there.